Yo guys, we are back with another video today. In today's video, I'm simply going to be showing you guys my team build. Everyone has their own specific preferences. I'm going to show you guys my team. Um, but first, let's look at the stats. So, as you guys can see on the leaderboards, I'm currently only in Division 2. Um, I haven't really played much this year, but as you guys can see, that is my official record. 49 19 and 7 so not too bad it's all right it could be better but like i said i didn't play a lot this year last year was definitely my best year for playing nhl because i just tore it up on the ice baby so absolutely filthy um another thing to keep in mind guys basically i've been using evolution cam talbot all year so um basically he's been playing in net for me all year long we still have a couple familiar faces we got that malkin kane crosby subay man johnny hockey patrice bergeron etc etc but as you guys can see cam talbot has played quite a few games 286 games i guess i have played a lot either way guys we have played quite a bit 196 wins 90 losses not too bad for using an 85 goalie all year maybe i just suck i don't know 2.5 goals against average and oh man that kind of ruins it but we did pick up connor hellebuck he hasn't played a game just picked him up so without further ado boys let's get right into this team build and there was a specific way i set this team up there was one common thing that I look for in this team. Oh, drum roll. Ah, oh, too late. Either way, there is the team, guys. First line is absolutely filthy. We got Evo Patty Kane, Evo Crosby, and Ruby Nathan, Nathan McKinnon. I just recently picked him up. Looks like a beast. Absolute nang. All over the ice. Just absolutely having a great season. Colorado, man. Going from the worst team to a playoff team within a year. Absolutely insane. Put that team on his back, baby. So definitely MVP status over there for Nathan McKinnon. And at 96 overall, he is going to beast mode. So that is the first line. Also, Patty Kane is very fast as well. And Crosby is just Crosby. Always one of the best players in the game. So basically, if you don't have Crosby... I don't know what you're doing. Moving on to the second line, though, we do have Johnny Hockey, Evgeny Malkin, Evo cards, both at 98. I think Johnny Hockey just upgraded or something. Um, and then we have the all-star Joe Sackick. This card was actually very OP like a month ago. Um, ever since then, though, it has gone down a little bit. I don't really see people using it too much, but I don't mind it. He has very crazy face-offs, 95 face-offs. He is also very fast, 97 acceleration, 96 speed. So a lot of my team is basically based on speed and overall handles. Um, I don't really worry about the shot too much, but as you guys can see, their shots are either at 97 or 99 minimum, so absolutely insane there. So Malkin, Joe Sackick, and Johnny Hockey on the second line. Third line, recently, excuse me, recently acquired Connor McDavid, baby, McDaddy in the house could be winning the MVP again. He's only a few points behind Kucherov, so that is insane. I think they actually played um, they played the Sharks tonight, and I think McDavid actually had uh, two points against the Sharks, so that is insane. He's only two or three points behind Kucherov, so who knows? We might see another uh, MVP. Patrice Bergeron, very familiar face, used to play on the first line. Demoted to the third line, and Martin St. Louis, baby, the game's best, smallest player to ever live and play the game. Five foot eight, 98 skating on the card, but he's got 99 acceleration, 99 speed. Absolutely insane. He is a very tiny dude, gets rocked quite a bit at 180 pounds as well. So, um, Kind of a small dude, but can carry his weight quite a bit. And McDavid is just McDavid. Absolute fasty little guy over there. And then, of course, we got the two most OP ice cards. Probably the two most OP ice cards uh, out there. So we got the Steven Stamkos, the Nikita Kucherov. 
Uh, I don't know if anything else needs to really be said about those guys. Just absolute beasts and probably will win the cup this year. So, um, playing down the middle though, Anze Kopitar. Absolute filthy card for me this year. I've loved playing with him. Always has been very solid for me. So, um, he is one of the slower guys, but playing on the fourth line. Besides Stamkos and Kucherov, I don't mind. At least he's there for the defensive role. So, um, aside from everyone else, I think Bergeron and Kopitar are probably the slowest dudes. Everyone else is easily maxed out their acceleration and speed. Um, but at least Bergeron and Kopitar are on the bottom lines doing their defensive roles. So, that's not a big deal. Moving on to the defense, though, so guys. This was a very hard choice. There was one player I wanted specifically. I'll go up on... I'll review that after. Sorry, I can't even speak a lick of English. English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! Trying to get through this video, but... John Klingberg, we upgraded from that ice card to the 95 ruby. I still love his card. He's underrated for me in this game Brent Burns and PK Subban very familiar faces I love playing them on the left side though just so I can get that one T shot going although their preferred side is the right side of course so but on the right side we do have Mike Green um, absolute beast as well uh, I think his community team of the year actually was a 94 I believe so um, not really too much of a big difference. He's still got three synergies, which is very solid. And, um, yeah, he has been playing pretty good. I think I've played one game with all these guys. And then, of course, we upgraded Petrangelo to the Ruby. And then we finally got Victor Hedman, because I didn't get a chance to play with him this year. But I still like him. Big dude, very, very skillful with his hands. And how tall is he? 6'6", six, six, man. So he's probably 6'8", at least on skates. So absolutely filthy. And you guys obviously know who we got in that. I was actually going to pick up Flurry Ruby, but I actually managed to grab Connor Hellebuck for like 14k or something. So um, I got an absolute steal on this card. I could easily flip him for like 20k right now. But I'm going to play with them, see how it goes and uh, hope for the best but yeah guys that is the new team build obviously um we're still going to be giving more players away of course but um as of for now this is what the team's looking like and i actually kind of like it better than my old team full of just evos but this is the new team i can't wait to try out this nathan mckinnon and uh, yeah, guys, that's basically going to do it for that. Last thing we're going to do is quickly look at the stats on all the players. Like I said, I've only played like one game with uh, most of these new guys. So let's go look. Most of them actually got a point in their first game. So, I mean, these were the uh, couple that were excluded. So I haven't played with Nathan McKinnon or McDavid yet. But uh, these four, basically all defensemen and Kucherov. But Kucherov got hurt. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So all of them actually got a point in their first game. Martin St. Louis, though, he is a very good card. I would suggest you guys go pick him up. He's only, like, 60K. Play him on the third line. That guy will zoom past anybody. But, um, yeah, guys, that's basically going to do it for that. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other team builds. Kind of do any recommendations for, like, a 200, 300, 400 to 1 million team build, whatever it may be. But other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this is your first time around make sure you subscribe like the video for more dope content like this hopefully you guys have a great day and uh you guys know what to do so i will see you guys in the next one peace